Before I start, I just wanted to say I'm going to be giving away a full set of these pencils within the week, so I hope you subscribe so you'll be notified and you won't miss out. Hi, it's Dia. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Guanghui, otherwise known as Hero, pencils. They were kind enough to send me a set of 168 of their pencils, and this is the first time I'm opening them. This is tray number one. Nice brights. Tray number two seems like a bit more pastels. Lots of greens and reds. Oop. Now, I left that in there on purpose because I, I don't store my pencils. And there goes another one. I don't store my pencils back in that, in that tray. I will put them in a big jar. But I just wanted to show you that um, it's fine, but it's not the most secure way to keep your pencils. And I do have a carpet underneath, so I wasn't that nervous. Now, it came with all those nice pencils, and it came with this uh, do-it-yourself color list that I'm assuming that you can um, fill in the blanks so you get an accurate reading. Uh, now, I got distracted. You get an accurate reading of the colors and then you can put the number next to it because they they don't have they don't have names. So I'm going to be coloring in one of my coloring books called Coloring Dreams. And I chose a picture with lots of flowers on it because eventually I figured I could literally use every color. Now I went a little bit outside the lines and I used an eraser that's on an erasable colored pencil and it did come right off. Now my first impression when I first started using the pencils was that there were so many of each color and it was it was almost a little overwhelming so when I first started coloring this I had not used them at all, not even to try them. There were so many purples and so many blues in that category of pansy that I was I was a little I was a little overwhelmed. I didn't know which one to choose. So I used a blue and a purple and a violet and several different colors until I finally chose one that I thought was an accurate depiction of that bluish purplish color. Now here I used that fuchsia color first because I wanted to see how they would layer. I like to do reviews of colored pencils where I'm actually coloring something. So at this point, I've used a few layers, and now I'm going over it with white. And I made a little bit of details, those little veins. I didn't want to be too detailed, but I wanted to see how it worked. Now you could see as I used the white and I went over, I had to brush it off and you could see little crumbs, uh, which is fine. And the points did hold, but it, they were slightly crumbly. And I mean slightly. You know, I said they are crumbly. I can't even say they all are because you can see me using this light violet color or maybe it's an aubergine color and it's not crumbly at all. So I, I did find some of them to um, have a little bit of fallout, but not all of them. In fact, the yellows had practically none. So, yeah, so I have to retract that to a point. A few of them did. Now, this is one of those colors, it's like a light muted violet that I just love, and that I can't find in other sets. Now I'm just going in with, another, like I'm, I was trying to use as many colors as I possibly could to make the pansy look as realistic as possible without going totally overboard and making the video one hour long. So 
I'm going over and over. And I do have to say that some of the colors are so vibrant, like the color that I'm using right now. Um, it's deep, it's rich. And then there's some other colors, like this is like a nice buttery yellow. And this is a, I would say like a springish green. They, feel, they felt a little bit waxy to me, which was interesting because they're oil pencils. But I do feel like they, they have different feelings depending on the color. Now this yellow color, this is like a, a bright, intense, um, not quite gold, but bordering on banana yellow. And it is so vibrant and gorgeous and buttery and wonderful. Now this color that I just showed is a, it, it was like the color that I was trying to find at first. And I kind of went back in to go over to make it more in, to make it more intense. Um, a, a gorgeous blue violet, really rich, really creamy, really buttery. I went over the top of it with the white and it did mute it down a little bit. And then I used another light violet color to blend a bit. Now, once I went over it with the white, it didn't accept a lot of color. Now I kind of went over it again with that fuchsia color and the white did make it less accepting of other colors. Now here, on the other hand, I went over it, I went over the yellow with some of those uh, fuchsias and, and pinks and that worked better. Meaning that lovely, sunshiny, bright yellow color was more accepting of layers than the white area. Now the area that I'm coloring now in my head was this almost wine burgundy color. And uh, this set had the exact color that I had in my head. And that's one of the nice things about this set. There are so many colors that you don't really find in other sets. Now I wanted it to be a little bit darker so I went to the next shade darker that, well, it looked like it was the next shade darker um, by the outside of the pencil, but it, it, it was just maybe the faintest bit darker. So I went over with gray and then I went over with black to add some depth. Now I'm going over again to add some more richness and some more detail. Just, just to make the flower look uh, realistic. This set is really fun to use. There's, like I said before, there's so many colors and there are some colors that I really haven't found in other sets yet. Now I haven't used it yet, but you can see right in the left hand, well, you, you could, there was a yellow, it's like this neon yellow and I'll tell you about it later. That's worth the price of the entire set. Now here's a really nice, um, I, I can only call it a neon pink. Once again, this is a shade that I really haven't found in any other sets. And this is another one that's worth the price of the set, which is, in my opinion, uh, an extremely good price for, for these pencils. You can see it's a, it's a bright, pretty rose color. Many of the sets have pinks, but they're, but they're warm pinks. And it's impossible to mix that 
beautiful, clear, cool pink color with colors that you might have. Now here's another very interesting color, a burgundy. It's clear and it, it's another one of those pencils in this set that's buttery, lovely, just like this yellow, just like this sunshiny yellow that I was, that I was telling you about before. And you can see I'm pushing pretty hard and there's no fallout. I'm going back in with these colors because I wanted it to be vibrant, but I also wanted it to be almost translucent because those those pretty pansies have such a nice texture and such a nice liveliness to them. I didn't want to overdo it. So these pencils do allow you to layer to a point. I can't say as much as polychromos, but then again, I would assume that they would work well with polychromos because they're both oil. And polychromos doesn't have some of these colors. Although, I think that in general, polychromos colors are better and you can layer much more easily. I'm just doing a little blending here. And I have to say, I'm happy with how this is, this is looking. They're not as smooth as I'm used to for an oil pencil, but it isn't even that they're not smooth. They actually are smooth. They're not as buttery. They're not as creamy. They're a little bit drier, but then again, Pablo's are drier and I like using Pablo's. And yes, I know they are wax, but I just was trying to compare and say um, how I felt about dry versus creamy. This set has a really nice uh, variety of greens, purples, blues. It doesn't have that many yellows, but I have to say the yellows that it, that it does have are very nice, especially that one sunshiny color. I did not use the whole set for this, for this video, but I am going to go back and I'm going to do the entire picture in the Hero Pencils and I'm going to use every single pencil in the set on this image. So I hope you follow me because I think it's going to be interesting. I have no idea what it's going to look like, but um, I'm, even, I'm even curious, so I hope you join me. Now, I like the way these are layering. And I also wanted to, to um, try the black. The black is not the most intense black, although it is very smooth. It's not the blackest black that I've, I've ever used. Um, I would say the Polychromos, the Prismas, or the Pablo probably has the blackest black but I am not complaining. This will completely do. And I think you'd really, really have to be super particular and looking for the differences in the blacks. I went over these layers a few times And they worked, and they worked well. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you what, the black was great for shadows because it isn't super dark. It was perfect. You can see that I'm, that I'm going in there now. Now here's that. Here's that awesome neon yellow green. 
that I'm pretty much in love with. It goes on like butter. Okay, there it is, number 162 in the set. I think it's going to be invaluable for plants and flowers and highlights and leaves. A great addition. I, I have not seen a color like that. Now, I'm not coloring perfectly here, but I did want to see what, what the greens look like and how I could make this leaf look. during this first attempt with these colors, with this whole set. There are many greens and they range from the lightest yellowy, almost neon, to a very dark forest green and everything in between. There's teal greens, which I actually like to use for shadows in trees and on and on plants because that element of blue in the green makes it more shadowy. These felt nice to use. They covered nicely. They blended decently. Now this is all done on a Create Space coloring book. And I did it on purpose because I know it's not everybody's favorite. But I just wanted to show what it looked like because my books are printed on CreateSpace books at, at this point. Although the next one I'm trying to wangle another situation including the CreateSpace, but we'll see how that we'll see how that turns out. So I'm adding more dimension to, to the leaves, and there are already layers here, and it's allowing me to do it. You can tell that I, I, I put some details. So depending on the colors you use, you can add details over, over layers. Now I'm taking a darker green because those areas of the plant would be more in, in the shadow. So the colors that I'm choosing are a little bit darker. Now I'm not actually outlining it. What I'm trying to do is um, create a little bit of shadow and then a little bit of dimension. And I am going to leave a little bit white in the center where I thought maybe the sun would hit a little bit. And here I'm also using that tealish green that I was talking about before for a shadow and for some more detail. And it worked out nice. I have to say, looking at this, the colors are pretty, um, the, the addition of those pinks and those yellows are amazing. Here's all the colors I use, not even close to all of them. And I got a really nice result um, color-wise. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you subscribe because I am going to do, like I said, the entire thing. And um, there will, of course, be more videos to come. And as a quick recap, I would say these are a fantastic set for students. And any colorist would probably like them also because of their wonderful range of colors. They sharpen easily, by the way, with a Prismacolor sharpener, um, but they might not be the first choice for you if you're a professional artist because they have no light fast rating. So like I said before, I hope you follow me here because I am going to give away a set of these within the next week. So thank you for joining me. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!